All right, bro. So we're here to talk about Lil Yachty Breakfast Club interview. And see, my whole thoughts on that is that it's just as I've, as I've said before. The nigga only has so much he can talk about. Because when it comes to his music, he ain't... that That's not his story, bro. He has no fucking story, bro. Not to bash anybody that grew up in suburban households or anything like that. But like I told y'all about people like Super Duper Kyle and people like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? When them niggas was on the Double XL last year, I was telling y'all, man, that is not what hip-hop is about, bro. What You only limited about what you can talk about. Party music is cool, but yet what's the deeper part of yourself? You feel me? What do you really have to say? You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't really talking about nothing unless you steal. Unless you vulture some shit or just steal ideas from the coach on some you know what i'm saying drizzy shit you feel me that's why he's still relevant he pop up in your fucking town he do songs with y'all hottest artists or he you know what i'm saying go to y'all strip club and film a video there give it some promotion he show love under the disguise of promoting himself you know what i'm saying <laughs> ah that's some real jewelry shit right <laughs> But, um, nah, man, you know, people like Lil, Lot, I mean, Lil Yachty, album flopping, you feel me? And it's as I've said before, bro, you gotta be a lame, man, you gotta be, or you just don't have no fucking clue what this genre is about. Like I said before, that nigga, Lil Yachty, is a black culture vulture, you feel me? They exist. And... You know, hip hop has gotten so bad to the point to where niggas is giving out participation awards for freestyling. Nigga hop on Hot 97, give you a minute freestyle. And niggas is giving out participation awards like, oh, at least he tried. Oh, he's out of his new generation, the first dude that. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the hell up, man. Niggas crazy, bro. We don't give out participation awards, bro. You don't get an E for effort, bro. You got to deliver. Fuck all that. You got all this hype behind you. Nigga been out for damn near two years now, and that's the best he got. This how he earning his money, but this the best he got. Fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? That bubble gun pop shit only lasts so long. The nigga ain't topped none of his songs from 2016, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, bro. Y'all wild, man. But... You know, I can't name this video specifically, you know what I'm saying, Breakfast, my thoughts on Breakfast Club interview with Lil Yachty. I can't name it that because apparently my um, opinions on these people are so on point that they have to censor me and flag videos and shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it something. I, I don't really have what I'm going to specifically name it, but yeah, so... I can't say anything, but yet in the comment section, there are the whole comment section is calling this nigga out. They critiquing to the point to where they calling out the label, bro. They calling out the label. They calling out quality, quality control, QC. You feel me? They calling out the motherfucking CEOs and saying, man, look, at this point, y'all need to invest in interview training. He needs some PR methods. Really? God damn, you got people. You know what I'm saying? The peers. Telling him what he need, what telling the label what he need. You feel me? That's how bad it's gotten for them trying to promote this nigga. Got him all on these motherfucking places where he don't want to be at. The white man that snatched that nigga's soul. Feel me? They made you a fucking. See, like I always said, bro. You develop your brand with the culture first, with the urban culture first, and then really you solidify from then on because they've accepted you. So then if you decide to go mainstream or dabble in it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay. But at the same time, you still deliver for those urban community. You still deliver for the ones that supported you at the beginning. Then you all right. You all right. Look at Jay, man. Jay did that shit. You feel me? He always talked about going corporate, but yet he still gave y'all some lyrical shit. His content stayed up to par. You feel me? His content stayed up to par. He still gave y'all street shit. He throwing some pop shit every now and then. But he wouldn't just go full pop. That's the difference, bro. Niggas view Lil Yachty as a fucking a, a bubblegum pop rapper. You feel me? Like a corny artist, bro. Like an MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice type shit. That's how niggas view you. Because you didn't come in trying to spit, bro. You came in shying away and disrespecting Biggie. Saying Biggie overrated. 
and you never heard a Pac song. You feel me? So how else a nigga supposed to look at you? How else we supposed to critique you? You know what I'm saying? Then you, you in the um in the damn on your tour bus praising Drake. You feel me? Nigga ain't forgot this shit, bro. It's all out there. You feel me? But the media wanna act like we forgot this shit. You feel me? So we still critiquing them. It's the people that decide whether or not you going to be relevant or not. Nigga, it ain't the labels, bro. They can invest all that money, put you in Justice League and all that. It, it's a lot of failed fucking promotion that's going on right now. A lot of it, you feel me, of, of artists that they're investing in to try to promote that the people aren't rocking with at all, bro. At all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it tripped me out because they really think they, they really think y'all that dumb. They really do. They really think y'all that dumb. That they could just push any fucking body on y'all and just accept them as a great artist or accept them as this creative genius and revolutionary. You know what I'm saying? It's wild. But you can expect that from um, greedy corporate labels and shit like that. You know, you can expect that type of shit. But you can also expect it from y'all favorite puppet rappers too, co-signing they weird asses. I ain't forget that shit either, nigga. Back off, Lil Yachty, man. <laughs> nigga, shut the fuck. Every one of them. Y'all remember J. Cole co-signing Cardi B? You feel me? There's a lot of other artists, you feel me, where you be like, wow, nigga, really? This what you doing, bro? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this video as calm and as, as direct as possible because y'all know they got a tendency to just pop in here with that BS. But... The nigga is boring, bro. He has no story, my nigga. Lil Yachty has no fucking story, bro. He comes from a super nice environment in Atlanta. Suburban. Upper middle class, bro. Upper middle class. You feel me? And that right there is why when he gets on interviews, he has nothing to talk about. Like I said before, man, if you... Listen to an artist's music. You can listen to that party shit for all, you know, forever, how long you want. But yeah, it comes to a certain point to where you want to know the artist even deeper. You feel me? You want to know what he actually thinks or what he's been through. What's the reality behind this shit? What's your real story? Everybody has a story. Apparently, that nigga don't have a story. And that's the whole point. Fucking industry. Little hype wave that... The uh, that you know, the, the jewelry corporation seen as marketable for trying to promote um, emasculated black men, f effeminate black men, feminized black men. You feel me? They say, Oh, let's put this nigga. endorsement Nautica, endorsement Sprite. You feel me? Put this nigga on the Yeezy, um, the little Yeezy show. Already, nigga had one song out, one fucking song out. Then they say, You know, let's put him on this damn. Put him in the Grammys, you feel me? Got him all front and center. Put him at Met Gala, front and center. You know what I'm saying? Then give him a spot at this old, old um, damn animated movie for the Justice League and put him as Green Lantern. Green Lantern talk like, hey, how are you doing today? Nigga, they got Lil Yachty as his voice now. Come on now, bro. That don't make no fucking sense. None. That's their whole point of promoting that nigga, bro. Seen it from the beginning. Seen it. That was two years ago, bro. I just now catching up. But yeah, that shit, we ain't going for that, bro. Nigga, album flop, bro. Your little NBA Youngboy song. Uh, NBA Youngboy hold that L for collabing with him, and NBA Youngboy might be through too. But you know, these, these fucking corporations are giving these motherfuckers so many chances. They're not corporations, but these labels. You know what I'm saying? The average individual... You go out here and do some shit like that. You ain't getting no fucking suspended sentence or 10 years probation for no drive-by, bro. You not. Attempted murder, you not getting no motherfucking paper. Not you, you feel me? Not you. But if you're an artist that they can make money off of, almost oh, definitely. And then getting caught on video beating on your girl while being on probation, almost oh, definitely not. You feel me? <laughs> but hey... <laughs> It's this industry, man. It's shady, you know what I'm saying? Real shady. If only individuals will realize that that's how deep that shit really go. Because it's a whole system set in place to where certain things are promoted for you guys to be incarcerated in the future and think that you can get away with it too. 
because he gets away. Nah, not happening. That's not the reality. It's a false image put out there for you to fall into this trap. You feel me? That revolving door that they talk about. You know? Not the business. So, yeah, with artists like Lil Yachty, man, and anybody that listens to him, I'm not saying that you can't listen to him, but for him to be promoted as a rapper, bro, that's what I hate, man. When you got niggas out here that's really spitting, bro. When you got niggas out here, like, niggas wanted me to talk about that 03 Greedo dissing um, Tupac shit, doing all that little disrespectful ass shit. And I'm going to just say this. 03 Greedo understands that his mixtape whack as fuck. I think he whack as fuck, you feel me? Niggas talking that mafia business shit, his song or whatever. I don't know why I got uh, promoted like that. Maybe because it's in the Jordan Downs. A lot of niggas claiming Great Street all over this fucking country. But regardless of that, the shit trash, bro. And you know what I'm saying? They finna tear down the JDs. So you niggas gonna be clicking up with every fucking body, nigga. You niggas gonna be hiding the fuck out. Nigga know what's going on, bro. When they tear down the Jordan Downs, you niggas gonna be clicking up with every motherfucking body. In LA. In Victorville. All over, all over California, bro. Nigga know what's up. That shit over with, bro. <laughs> This shit over with, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> but niggas realize that dissing on Pac is how you get promotion. It might not be the best, but when you in desperate needs, like 03 Greedo, who been low-key buzzing in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Not even low-key because a lot of niggas don't even listen to that nigga. Just like a lot of niggas don't listen to R.J. out of, you know what I'm saying, out of L.A. Feel me? Them niggas is generic. Just like a lot of niggas don't listen to G. Perico. Them niggas is generic, you feel me? Niggas trying to bring, I ain't even finna roast LA rappers like that, but, you know, Drakeo, whatever, that Drakeo the ruler, you feel me? All of them niggas is, they stealing from something, you feel me? That nigga 03 Greedo trying to sound like a, a Watts version of Future. R, uh, RJ trying to sound like a, a YG, you feel me? YG them, you feel me? Then you got, shit, Drakeo the ruler trying to sound like them niggas in the Bay. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, whole flow and style. Then you got, what's that nigga name? They got Rob from Inglewood Family. Got kicked out the hood. What's that nigga name, bro? I forgot that nigga name. The little rapper nigga. Uh, Snowman the P, whatever that nigga name is, bro. Nigga on video getting robbed and shit. But that nigga, you feel me? Trying to sound like the Bay. All that nigga songs. You know what I'm saying? LA, look. But 03 Grudo understands that that's how you get promotion. In desperate needs, you diss Pac, you diss a legend. Say he a bitch ass nigga and all that. A nigga not here to defend himself. So you feeling like, oh, it's either all or, all or nothing right now. Cause my mixtape ain't doing good. I just dropped it. It ain't buzzing. Let me get some promotion. And you got DJ Hamster Demix constantly posting them now and shit. You feel me? Niggas want that attention. That bad. Y'all giving it to him though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Oh, the nigga named Frosty the P. That's the nigga named Frosty the P. <laughs> Garber. Yeah, L.A. lost as a motherfucker. When niggas start calling money Uchis, bro. Niggas ain't never said Uchis. When L.A. start pimping, bro. You niggas want pimping. But hey, it is what it is. I grew up on feed. You niggas wasn't on that shit, bro. A majority of y'all. Certain hoods was always on it. Certain hoods wasn't on that shit, like being promoted and rapping about it. But hey, you know. Lost identity, gentrification, um, price of property value going way up. Got motherfuckers going crazy. Doing all type of shit. But hey, yeah, y'all give me y'all thoughts on this shit, man. I ain't really got much else to say. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to like, comment, dislike, gang in a motherfucking house. Haters on deck. So with that being said, I'm going. Peace.